Good morning. Today we're heading to La Fortuna. So we just arrived into La Fortuna. Took us four and a half hours, that's what it said. Uh, we went the North Road. It's actually uh, reminds us of where we're from in Canada, in the Okanagan, like rolling hills, a lake, only there's more palm trees, of course. So we are meeting our friends, Dennis and Tony, at a chicken place here. It's uh, Pollo, I can't remember the name, I'll put it in. <laughs> it's hard to say, I'll end up butchering it. All right, so I guess this one's full. There's another one uh, a few hundred, or a few meters up the road. Not too far, so we're just gonna wait. Popular place. Looks like a cool spot though, like it's uh, I'll show you. Right, so we were gonna walk up, but it's starting to storm now. So we're gonna go jump in the car and hope we find parking there. Uh, we are gonna do a raw walkthrough of La Fortuna as well, the main strip here. And I think it goes down to like the park where the church is, the main area. So yeah, we'll, we're gonna do that while we're visiting. And then, um, yeah, we're just gonna go have lunch. We're either gonna check into our place after that, we got a little Airbnb, or we might go to Tony and Dennis's first and hang out there, we don't know yet. And then uh, probably come back into town and just wander around, show you a little more about La Fortuna. And I'm uh, gonna find somewhere to have dinner tonight. And what else? Oh, tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm not gonna be filming tomorrow. We're gonna be going to Baldi for two nights. So on Monday, I'm gonna film Baldi to show you guys. It'll be a separate video. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow we're just gonna chill. I'll film the room because it'll be all made up and our stuff won't be everywhere. But yeah, we're gonna drive over to the other chicken place now. So we found the other location here. It wasn't far up the road actually, but there's like, you can see the dark clouds behind us. Some lightning strikes happening right now. 
All right, so we just finished having lunch here. That's a good spot. It's uh, it's kind of like pub food, I guess. They got a, a pork burger that had a pork patty, some like a little bit of pulled pork, and then some bacon. And then Shana got the uh, steak sandwich. I just overlaid them on the video here so you can see. And uh, Jaden got some nachos, chicken nachos. And then the guy always gets fries. That's all he got. So yeah, it was uh, it was good. We're full now. So we're gonna head in, check into our apartment, and then we're gonna go over to Tony and Dennis's, and uh, hopefully this rain stops, so we can go check out the river and stuff. All right, so we just got to our little apartment here. Seemed to be a little bit of confusion as to us checking in. Uh, the company, I guess, didn't let the lady. I don't know if she owns it or she's a cleaner. No, so she was all confused, but we're in now. We're just dropping our stuff off. So yeah, I just thought you'd show you around this little apartment. It's like a little fourplex thing. Uh, not too far from town, but uh, it's all new, modern, clean, and uh, yeah, check it out. <music> That's pretty cool. It's a little kitchen, uh, two burner hot plate, coffee maker, blender, rice cooker, which is awesome to have. And then it's cool they actually have a little workstation area here too at the back. Nice and bright with the with the windows. And then they've also got like the bright LED lights. So yeah, this is our place for one night. And because we had Airbnb credits for being super host, it only cost us like 12 bucks because <laughs> we had those credits, but yeah, super, super cheap. I think it was only like $75 anyway, so something like that. So yeah, if you guys, I'll put the link for this listing below. So if you guys are in the area and just want a nice clean place to stay, hopefully the, your check-in's a bit better than ours, but we're in and uh, yeah, we're gonna go now. So we just, just found their place here. Look at this, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air stuff. Got pillars. Who has pillars, especially in Costa Rica? Look at this. Hi. What is this? Hi. The Italian? Yeah. Holy! <laughs> How are you? Good. Hi, girls. So Dennis was saying in their backyard here, there's a sloth that comes, which they nicknamed Willie. This is him. Picture he took. It's pretty cool. That's oh, a great picture. So green and moldy, hey? It's so funny. But yeah, just up in the bamboo and stuff. Cool backyard, it's nice and green. So yeah, hopefully this rain lets up. We wanted to actually go walk around town a little bit, show you guys what it's like, but it doesn't look like it's gonna let up. It's coming down pretty good, so I don't know. <laughs> we might be uh, just driving around and uh, won't be able to show you, but I'm just gonna go for a walk now. He's got a couple umbrellas, so we'll take you, take you for a walk around here. So we're gonna go for a little walk here. Got some umbrellas. Check out this little lagoon here. So Dennis was just saying that's a, a glamping place that you can stay at where this lagoon is.
course, I have to be wearing my white shoes today. Should have worn my black shoes. Because <laughs> I'm wearing white shoes in the mud. <laughs> Just as I said, of course, I'm wearing my white shoes today. Yeah, yeah we, should, we should come camping here sometime. So Shane is on Instagram patrol. If you guys don't follow us yet, uh, go to the link below. We always post all our photos and stuff on there. Yeah, this is a cool spot. Those little cabins that have like, I think it looked like a, one little bed in there. And then, uh, oh, there's a goose over there. And then there's spots where you can actually tent. You can bring a tent and do that. So that's yeah, pretty cool. It's really nice grounds. Still raining a little bit. It's breaking up a bit, but we're gonna stop at Arabagos. Ara 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 that's how you say it, Arabagos? I don't know. It's a little, little coffee house and then right beside there's a little like bar. Uh, they got wine and cocktails it looks like and beer. So yeah, we're just gonna sit here, chill. Uh, we drove around a little bit. We're gonna drive a little bit more afterwards, but thought we'd come chill for a little bit. So I got a, another beer here. I got one at lunch actually from the same brewery which is brewed in town here on a wood fire. Uh, the one I got at lunch was the IPA. I think I showed it in the video. I can't remember if I took a video of it. But this one's a, the Iguana Heffenweizen. But yeah, as you can see, it's nice and cloudy like a Heffenweizen should be. It's really good. And not too cloudy. Some of them can be too cloudy. This one's like, a little bit but yeah so far these two beers that i've had from this brewery it's is it Su suzy tico <laughs> suzy tico no swizzy tico <laughs> get my face out of there so they'll zoom in on it but yeah it's been good for a local beer it's nice and it's cool the art that they have too so it looks like the artist uh Pul pulin perez who drew this, did a really good job on the artwork. There's one with the sloth, and then I think that was the IPA, and then there's like a monkey and all that stuff, so it's really cool. So they actually have food here as well, so there's a fish curry, some pasta, there's quite a, quite a few things actually for that, and then a big list of uh, different espressos and different presses, different methods of making it. All right, so our server here, uh, came over, he actually asked us if we had a YouTube channel because I was filming and stuff and I gave him our card, but he came over with this drink that he made and it almost looks like a yogurt, but it's a cream and there's fruit in it and then there's a drink or an alcohol called Contrabando, something like that. He doesn't have the bottle, he's gonna show you, but he doesn't have it. But it's like really good, it's like coconut fruit and then like a strong like liqueur. Like cream, it tastes like a cream liqueur. A cream liqueur, yeah, is what it tastes like. So yeah, it's really good. He said he just made it up. Like it's a drink that he made up. It's really strong though. <laughs> he, he can't show us the bottle, so I think it's some sort of a yeah, some mystery mystery alcohol. No, it's not. He, he just said he doesn't have it right now because they have it in like a uh, white plastic yeah, bottle. Very strong. Very strong though, but it's yeah. really good. Like super fruity coconut. You're gonna be watching this video. Good job. It reminds me of the liqueur that's called Amarula. Amarula, yeah, it's so kind of like that, yeah. Amarula is almost like a fruity cream mm -hmm. liqueur that's quite strong, and this is exactly what yeah. it reminds me of. Yeah, it's really weird. I thought it was rum at first, but because it has that kind of strong, sugary it might have flavor a rum like that. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Either way. So, muchas gracias. So, Jaden got a ham and cheese and tomato panini. It's good. really good. Yeah. Keep the stick in there. <laughs> Helps hold it together. Yeah. Make sure there's no traffic. <laughs> More cars here than in Samara. So uh, we finished having drinks and stuff at the coffee place. Now we're gonna go for sushi. Cap of sushi. 
and uh, as long as they have room, it's a cool little spot. So be my guest. Gracias. So this place is called Kappa Sushi. It's just down actually from the park. If you look on Google Maps, you'll be able to find it, but you can see the volcano actually when you're sitting outside. And it's been raining all day, and it's pretty much all day we've been able to see the actual top of the mountain, but uh, they have a pretty good menu. They got actually uh, ramen soup, a bunch of different rolls, stuff like that. So yeah, it's cool that they have ramen. You gonna get ramen? <laughs> Shana loves ramen, so maybe be good because it's like actually like homemade stuff. But yeah, it's a really cool spot. I mean, it'd be cool if it wasn't raining. It'd be all like nice and sunny and warm. Of course, it's not now, but it can come in the day. Okay, so as you guys have seen in our Tamarindo video, we went for sushi. There's arm wrestling for sake. There's no arm wrestling this time. Jaden was scared to lose, right? No. Yes. I'm strong. <laughs> Stronger. He even left, he wouldn't go with me, so. We did get sake. Cold sake. I don't know what I like better, warm or cold. Do you like warm? Depends where I'm located. Yeah, it depends on the situation. <laughs> if Canada, it's warm. <laughs> Canada warm, here, Costa Rica, cold. cold. Yeah. This one, this one's good. It's not as, not as, um, it's more sweet. More sweet, not as strong as like what we used to get at Genji and Kelowna. I like the strong ones though. Yeah. This is good, but it doesn't have that bite. Mm. Try it. Get the Kai to have a little, sake? little sip. More hair. Put hair on his, you know what? So we ordered some appies. We got uh, gyozas and some spring rolls. We're gonna try those first, and then I think Shane is gonna get the ramen. And I'm just gonna get a roll. Yeah, the boys already we do, ate. We do feed our kids, yeah, we right? do feed them every once in a while. They've been good. We'll feed them. Not tonight. No, as you saw, Jaden had that sandwich at the coffee place, and then the guy's still full from lunch. Oh, well, guys. Yeah. Well, yeah. Gyoza. Yeah. From Gyoza is really good. And then they got little spring rolls. Those are good too. You get five of them, the little ones, but it's really it's like five bucks, so it's pretty cheap. So I got the calypso roll, which is a coconut shrimp, temper coconut shrimp, and with an eel sauce. Smells really good. Take the end piece. The end cut. You didn't even put any wasabi on there. I don't like wasabi. It tastes like uh, horseradish. <laughs> Maybe it's I like Japanese spicy, but I don't like wasabi or horseradish. Okay. Yeah, it's good. The coconut's a nice touch to it. And a little bit of sweetness from the eel sauce. Yeah, it's not like huge, you can see, but it's so enough. 10 pieces, they said. 10 pieces, yeah. Yeah, 10 pieces. So like a normal roll. All, their, all of their rolls are 10 pieces. Yeah, yeah, all the rolls are, they, like Shannon said, they're 10 pieces. They got like raw versions. They got a, a vegan option, like a whole row of vegan ones. Raw vegan or and tempura. tempura. Appies. Some appies, they actually have like a whole sushi boat. You can choose either vegan or normal, so you like a bunch of different random ones. But yeah, it's, it's actually a really good menu. It's not like huge, like some sushi places, but it's like just right, like the right types of uh, sushi. Yeah, I'm gonna continue eating this. All right, so we're back at our rental for the night. Did you guys have a fun day? Yes. I heard that. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, yeah, unfortunately it was raining. We didn't get to do as much as we wanted as far as walking around, so we just sat and hung out, as you saw. But uh, yeah, we got to show you some cool landscaping, <laughs> not just landscape, landscaping. 
um, yeah, it was really nice down by Dennis and Tony's there. And But yeah, we'll uh, leave this video off here. It's just kind of a travel video, getting our feet wet in La Fortuna and showing you guys what it's kind of like. So yeah, we'll, uh, if you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon. Ding! <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video.